This person nearly destroyed Earth's atmosphere, but not with a chain reaction of atomic bombs, nor was he an evil mastermind like in the James Bond movies. Okay, maybe he was a genius, because Thomas Midgley was indeed a scientist. However, the mistake made by Midgley in 1928 had extreme consequences. With an invention, he inadvertently destroyed the Earth's atmosphere, causing damage with repercussions still affecting us a hundred years later with immeasurable casualties. But one thing must be acknowledged, his actions were unintentional because he didn't know the full extent of what he was doing. So watch until the end to find out what nearly destroyed Earth's atmosphere. In the early 20th century, the notion of having a ticking time bomb in your kitchen was a chilling reality for many households. These potential hazards weren't explosive devices in the conventional sense, rather, they were refrigerators. Yes, the big thing you have in the kitchen. At that time, artificial refrigeration was a novel concept, still in its infancy. While heating systems were self-established and relatively safe, the challenge of cooling posed a whole new set of dangers. Imagine the trepidation of knowing that your refrigerator could malfunction at any moment, spewing forth poisonous gases, or, in the worst case scenario, triggering a catastrophic explosion. This was the grim reality faced by countless individuals during this era. The refrigeration systems of the time relied on volatile substances such as sulfur dioxide, ammonia, or methyl chloride, substances with the potential to wreak havoc if mishandled or if the refrigerator suffered a minor malfunction. Indeed, the contrast between the ease of heating and the complexities of cooling couldn't have been starker. While heating systems were relatively straightforward and reliable, cooling presented a myriad of challenges, both technical and safety related. The risks associated with early refrigeration units cast a shadow over their utility, making them a proverbial ticking time bomb lurking in households across the globe. Despite these inherent dangers, the demand for refrigeration continued to soar as urbanization and population growth accelerated. It wasn't until significant advancements in technology, safety standards, and the introduction of safer refrigerants like Freon, more about Freon later in this video, that the specter of danger began to recede. These developments marked a turning point in the history of refrigeration, transforming what was once a perilous endeavor into a ubiquitous and indispensable aspect of modern life. In the era preceding electric refrigerators, households depended on ice boxes to preserve perishable food items. These ice boxes required regular replacement of large ice blocks every few days to maintain cold temperatures. However, the advent of electric refrigerators brought about a revolutionary change in food preservation practices. Electric refrigerators functioned by circulating a refrigerant through a closed system. This refrigerant played a crucial role in absorbing heat from the interior of the refrigerator, thereby cooling the air inside before releasing the absorbed heat outside. While water theoretically could serve as a refrigerant, it couldn't achieve the low temperatures necessary for effective refrigeration. As a result, alternative chemical substances became indispensable. Ammonia and methyl chloride were among the primary chemical refrigerants utilized in early electric refrigerators. These substances possessed favorable thermodynamic properties, enabling efficient heat absorption and release. However, they also posed notable safety risks due to their toxic and flammable nature, posing potential hazards within households. The pursuit of safer alternatives to these hazardous chemicals became paramount with the increasing popularity of electric refrigerators. This quest ultimately led to the development and widespread adoption of synthetic refrigerants like Freon. These synthetic compounds offered improved safety profiles without compromising on refrigeration performance. The transition from ice boxes to electric refrigerants marked a significant advancement in food preservation technology, offering households greater convenience and reliability. Nonetheless, it underscored the importance of balancing technological progress with safety considerations, a principle that continues to shape advancements in refrigeration technology today. In the late 1920s, a chemist named Midgley found himself immersed in a research laboratory facing the challenge of developing a safer refrigerant. Turning to the periodic table for inspiration, he stumbled upon fluorine. 
a promising element that, when combined with others, had the potential to yield stable and non-toxic compounds. Midgley embarked on a series of experiments exploring various fluorine compounds until he finally synthesized what he dubbed Freon. By the way, the chemical name is dichlorodifluoromethane, but let's stick to Freon. Freon emerged as a breakthrough discovery. It boasted exceptional chemical stability, rendering it non-toxic and non-flammable, a stark contrast to the hazardous refrigerants of the time. This newfound compound quickly gained traction as the go-to refrigerant of households worldwide, sparking a revolution in refrigeration technology. Beyond its application in refrigeration, Freon found itself adopted in a multitude of other industries and products. From air conditioning systems to aerosol propellants, its versatility and safety made it a sought-after solution for diverse applications. Midgley's pioneering work in developing Freon not only transformed the landscape of refrigeration, but also exemplified the power of scientific ingenuity to address pressing societal needs. His creation continues to shape modern technology, serving as a testament to the enduring impact of innovative thinking in shaping the world we live in. However, a significant oversight emerged with the adoption of Freon. While initially celebrated for its safety benefits to humans, it soon became apparent that its use posed a grave threat to the Earth's ozone layer. Upon release into the atmosphere, Freon molecules could ascend up to the ozone layer, where they underwent decomposition under sunlight, liberating chlorine atoms. These chlorine atoms, in turn, acted as catalysts in the destruction of ozone molecules, ultimately contributing to the formation of the infamous ozone holes over the poles. The revelation of this unintended consequence sparked urgent global action. In 1987, the international community came together to establish the Montreal Protocol, a landmark agreement aimed at phasing out the production and utilization of ozone-depleting substances such as Freon. This unprecedented accord represented a rare display of global cooperation, with virtually all nations committing to the reduction and eventual elimination of these harmful substances. The Montreal Protocol stands as a testament to humanity's capacity for collective action in the face of environmental challenges. Its implementation has yielded significant results, leading to the gradual recovery of the ozone layer and averting potentially catastrophic consequences for the planet. Yet, it also serves as a cautionary tale, highlighting the importance of considering the long-term environmental impacts of technological innovations and the necessity of proactive measures to mitigate harm. Since then, the ozone layer has shown signs of recovery. The size of the ozone hole over Antarctica has stabilized, and there's hope that it may even fully recover by 2040. This success story highlights the importance of scientific research, international collaboration, and proactive measures in addressing environmental challenges. In conclusion, Thomas Midgley's invention of Freon inadvertently caused significant harm to the Earth's ozone layer, but through scientific understanding and global action, we've managed to mitigate some of the damage and pave the way for recovery. It serves as a reminder of the power and responsibility that comes with scientific innovation. The legacy of Midgley's mistake extends beyond ozone depletion, raising broader questions about the unintended consequences of technological advancements and the need for ethical considerations in scientific research and innovation. Moreover, the Montreal Protocol's success underscores the potential for international cooperation in addressing global environmental challenges. Looking ahead, the lessons learned from the Freon debacle can inform our approach to emerging environmental issues such as climate change. By learning from the past and embracing responsible innovation, we can build a more sustainable and resilient world for all. And if you're interested in learning more about science and the universe, then like this video, subscribe to the channel, and join us on this journey of discovery and exploration. And here are more interesting videos to watch.